I'm here with Ms. Strau Raymond. You began at Ellsworth Community College, where you led the team with 62 tackles in 2007 before walking on to USF in 2008. What prompted your decision? Uh, well, it was for me at the time. It was more of a a personal a personal decision. I mean, I had I was receiving interest from other programs like out of state, and uh, it was just a, a family issue that just kind of brought me closer to home. Being uh, I'm only live 30 minutes away in Palmetto. So I decided to come come here and you know start something here. Cool. So has that gained support with your family? Are they able to attend games? Yeah. And see you more often. Yeah, that's definitely you no. Know, that's definitely been a positive upside to it. And then, you know they're always here. They're always around. They drive up, you know, and visit me and stuff. So you know it feels kind of nice to have that. Well, in Iowa Falls, Iowa, where Ellsworth Community College is, the population is just over 6,000. So how does it feel coming to USF, which is 46,000, um, and playing at Raymond James Stadium? Man, it's, you know, I feel like a kid saying this, but it's everything I ever dreamed of, you know. And, you know, it's, it's, I truly feel blessed to be here, and, you know, I feel like I'm very fortunate to be here. Okay, great. And um, with the unfortunate loss of Gerald Young to a broken arm, now yeah. he's starting in his place. I mean, exactly what responsibilities I have for you? I mean, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say my responsibilities have changed, my, you know, as, as much as I would say that I just feel as though with, with, the, with the loss of Jarrell, uh, you know, it, it's imperative that I elevate my play, you know, and I think, I think our coaching staff feels the same way. I, I know for a fact Jarrell feels the same way because we talk about it and, uh, and people say we lost him, but I don't feel like we lost Jarrell at all. He's always here, he's always around, and he's still vocal as ever. He's just like he's out there. He's, now he's just coaching now. Okay. So know. I was going to say, have you used him as a coaching mechanism to kind of guide you into this position? Definitely. I mean, Jarrell's a very football-savvy guy, and he has a lot. his football IQ is very high. And, you know, having, having that type of guy around you, you know, you can always feed off of that, and you can always go to him and talk to him. And, you know, even though he's a – class under me you know I still I, I could still reach out to him for anything anything as it stretches farther than football and now kind of gliding into his position pretty smoothly you had that interception against Western Kentucky tell me how that felt for you uh, your man. first career uh, man it, you know it, for me I felt I felt more I felt better for my team than I did for myself you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day that's that's what I do it for you know we all work together and you know it just it, it felt like a, a team a team thing more than a personal thing for me, you know. Okay. And I just want to talk about some of your teammates. Um, how do you feel about the growth and impact that Kayvon Webster as a freshman has been able to make? I think since the day since the day Kayvon and you know those rest of those guys came in, I always admired the way that they they work. You know, I'm I'm 22 years old and I know those guys are 18, 17, and you know the, the C guys work with that type of mentality. You know, it's, 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 it's amazing, really, and, and the way Kayvon has progressed since he's been out here. He, he came in with, the, with that, type of, that type of swagger that, you know, he, he kind of he felt that he was in a position to play, and I, I agree with it from day one. I don't have a problem seeing him out there, and I think he's really working, working towards being, you know, one of the, the top guys in the country when it's, when it's his time. And um, talk about playing with Nate Allen and some of the other seniors in the defensive backfield. Uh, well, definitely. I remember being at junior college and, and watching these guys. You know what I'm saying, and now now being here with them and and, and just just kind of learning from them, you know, learning from them, and you know, it's 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 really amazing. It's really a blessing, man. And you know, guys like Nate and Jerome, they're really they're really active in in, in the progression of our defense. So you know, they they take everything you know very seriously, and you know, it's it's kind of kind of rubs off on you a little bit, you know. What specifics have you learned from them, or will you take with you now into the next game as a starter? Uh, well, from 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 Murphy, I think one thing you definitely learn is is hustle, man. Because he he go, he just it's just something about him that he just goes 100 percent no matter what. I mean, the guy is like a the guy is like 100 percent energy all the time. And from Nate, I I say the one thing I definitely pick up from Nate is just like fundamental. I mean, if you just watch him, he just <laughs> just smooth, like you know, so. You know, you pick up different different things from different players, and, and you know, you all you try to put it all together and with what you have, and you know, just kind of you know better yourself and better the team. And what is tracing the defense of staff been working on you with for the next game going in as a starter? Uh, well, for the most part, just 
it's it's all been relatively just it hasn't been so much to focus on me. I mean, I think the coaches are confident in my ability, and I'm very confident in my ability, and I'm confident in the defense and the, and the material that they're giving us. So it's just been a been a team thing, a team defense thing, and we've just been working and you know trying to eliminate some of the some of the mental errors and you know trying to improve on some of the some of the things we didn't do so well, you know. And um, on a personal level, what personal improvements would you like to make? I mean, on the field, on the field, I definitely feel as though I have to be, I have to be more active in, in, in tackling. You know, that, that's my biggest issue this week, and I, you know, I feel like I got to get people down and, you know, help help our defense from from that aspect. And uh, you know, just just you know, other than that, I just do what I do, you know, and that's that's play hard and, and try to contribute to the overall success of this defense in this program. So you're going to do what you do, and uh, what are you looking forward to for the rest of the season, or even for the next game? I'm looking forward, forward to our team just coming closer together as a unit, you know, and you know that I think I think with, when that happens and, and, you know, as that continues to progress, then everything else will just fall in place, you know. Great. This is Michelle Raymond. I'm Adriana Vegas with the Oracle.